So the next technique we're going to look at are a group of techniques called vibrations. Now, this is a really simple technique. And in essence, it simply moves the muscle backwards and forwards very lightly on a localized basis. <laughs> So Charlotte is right, this is a really very simple technique and there isn't a lot to show you in the videos if we're <laughs> honest about it. Um, so you can either use the whole flat of your hand or you can use a couple of fingers. Um, and all you are doing is vibrating a small area of muscle back and forth at a set tempo and try and keep that tempo even. You don't want to go too deep into the muscle or it makes it more of a friction. So it's quite a light pressure with a light quick tempo. And you do this for about 10 seconds on an area. So it's really good after you've um, maybe pummeled an area quite deeply <laughs> um, and you want to just uh, change the sensation in the area. But we'll let Charlotte explain that in a second. <laughs> um, so you can either work transversely across the muscle fibres or in line with them. Depends what you're trying to achieve. So Tamsin's already mentioned that this is really useful for basically adding some variety to your massage, breaking it up and just sort of disrupting the, the sensation that the body's getting. So by vibrating the air, it can also provide a warning to the nervous system that there is an area of tension. And as a result, it can help to desensitize and confuse receptors, potentially causing the muscle to relax, which is why it's really useful to be integrated into other work. What it can also do is initiate the pain gate theory. Now there's more information on this in your manual and online, but in essence, what we're looking at is the pain receptors in the central nervous system opening the gate to say yes there is pain or no there isn't so what we're hoping to do is stop that sensation as a result i find this technique really useful for neurological conditions so potentially some fibromyalgia getting the body to switch off those pain receptors really really helpful the other thing that it can do is reduce the pressure on the small capillaries so by stimulating the area with a short vibration you increase the amount of blood flow to that area so it can be really useful in a number of different ways so let me just simplify that for you a little <laughs> bit uh, what we're trying to do is engage your client's nervous system and draw their mind to the problem area um, it's also going to give you some variety in your treatment which again will change the stimulation to the body and engage that nervous system and also it can be used to initiate the relaxation response within the muscle and also for the client mentally if you've got the tempo yeah. correct so all of this can be done simply through these short, fast movements back across in line with the muscle fibers. Now, I'll be honest, it's a technique that when I learned it initially, I didn't necessarily see its full value. Now it's something I use really, really regularly and integrate into my massage quite a lot. So don't underestimate it when you first start using it. I completely agree with Charlotte there. When we started writing this course, I used to think, oh, I never use that technique. And actually, when I started looking at what I yeah. did, I use it a lot. Yeah. And you just use it automatically. You almost Your body almost knows when you want to use it. And it's, it's a brilliant technique, actually, surprisingly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when you're doing this technique, it's really important to still continue to support your own joints. Um, it's going to make it much easier for you. But also bear in mind, it's a light technique. So you don't need to have a lot of pressure. Keep it really light, really quick, super easy with reinforced joints. So shall we go and have a look at the incredibly short video we've got for this? Because it's really, like we've said before, not a great deal to show you in this one, but it's a great technique. So yeah. let's have a look.